Hey everyone, Jane there. I'm just doing an update regarding my 75 gallon tank. That's one of my Julie cats right there. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a male. And straight back is a female. The thing about the uh, female, you can't really see it at this very second, but maybe she'll turn around. She has a sack on her left side. See that white bag? I was reading online, and that's where they tend to put their eggs alongside their left ventral fin. So, I just thought that'd be kind of cool to share the fact that I think my Julie's decided to have kids through all this mess that's been happening in my tank. Oh, you can see that little bag? So, I thought that'd be kind of interesting to show everybody. Kind of ironic with everything else that's been going on. But also, oh yeah, where is it? Oh, right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Sorry, I've got such a big thing. Is this like a Discovery Channel moment? Look at my two snails. <laughs> I've got my blue mystery snail and this other brown snail. I'm about ready to get them a uh, motel room. Because... I mean, what else are they doing? See what I'm saying? <laughs> so, unless these two just don't like each other, hopefully they're not hurting each other. One's attached to the other's shell. So, I'm just thinking it might be just one of those Discovery Channel moments. And hopefully that's the case. Because the other blue mystery snail is down under here on vacation, I guess. It's right there. Alright. Another thing that I'm looking at, I'm getting one crazy breakout of this hairy algae, which looks like a black beard algae. I did a water test on the tank, and all my perimeters are right on the money. I always associated black beard algae with high nitrate, but one thing that I did notice, so I shouldn't say my parameters were completely right on, my pH level is 7.6. I went ahead and put some neutral leg regulator in here to uh, drop the pH, but look at this massive amount of black beard algae on my plants. This is like crazy. And also I noticed over here on the filter head, look at this. And this is within like one or two days that this stuff is just going berserk. It's covering up the whole mouth of the canister filter's intake. So I'll be trimming that stuff out of there. But I just wanted to show you what's going on with this. Maybe somebody can give me an idea. Is that maybe because of the high pH possibly or what is the case but it's pretty much growing on a lot of my plants uh, some of the leaves over here the same thing so anyways that's what I got going on just figured I'd show you what my snails are up to and what the Julie cats are up to and I gotta do some more trimming in here. And then from there we'll see what happens. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for the back reflections and on that. And there we have it. Alright, bye bye.